Jesus Montoya is a strong believer in the healing power of paint, a paintbrush, and a canvas. Try to draw things, a little things before, and it was terrible. <laughs> so then I was telling them I can't do it, especially without movement in my hands. So then they start telling me about the mouse stick I can paint with my mouth. Paralyzed from the chest down and struggling with his anger, Jesus wasn't easily persuaded. Since they keep begging me and begging me, uh, finally I tell them, okay, I want to try it. Just to, I mean, just for them to stop telling me. And I start painting and I'm, I don't know, something happened. Um, I just realized I like to paint, so. And that's not the only thing Jesus has discovered about himself. Jesus was just 21 years old when he suffered a devastating injury. He was driving to work in the rain when a car spun toward him. He swerved to avoid impact, flipped his car, and rolled down an embankment. At that time, I have a, my fiance. Um, we're living together already. Uh, she was three months pregnant when I had the accident. So after I wake up, she was already like six and a half, seven months, something like that. I had to rely on nurses or other people for everything, for eating, for drinking, for change myself, um, for everything. Basically, I can't do anything by myself. I get angry to myself, I get angry to the people around me. I try to die, I tell them I don't want to live like that because I don't know. Jesus, like many people that have a spinal cord injury, um, it, it's catastrophic. Imagine one day you're working, you have a family, everything is, you know, you feel like you're living a normal life and then next day you're in the intensive care unit, you know, you have a tube you know, for feeding, you have a, a tube for breathing. Um, and you're paralyzed. Jesus's anger was all-consuming and ultimately cost him his family. He was lost and broken when an Edgemore volunteer offered him a way out. I met a friend. I call her my angel friend. Then she started telling me about school. And she's a teacher, so she started inspiring me too. And I always wanted to go to school, but I didn't know how. Jesus had only completed second grade in Mexico. With encouragement from his friend, he started taking ESL, or English, as a second language. But then after I started learning, I started liking it, so that's when I started my high school. Jesus had also started painting. He graduated from high school in 2007 and became the first Edgemore resident to enroll in college. And from there I got accepted to San Diego State. Which was, I mean, that was a big, big accomplice. Jesus finished his bachelor's degree in social work and minored in art. He is currently working on his master's degree. Education and painting have given Jesus freedom, purpose, and happiness again. You have to go through many stages of grief and adaptation and, um, and frustration, but Jesus was able to see this, this way out. We're pretty proud. <laughs> 20 years from now, I see myself um, helping other people with disabilities like me. If I can't do it, I mean, why not them?